Okay, ready, go. Okay, ready, go. Go. So in the downswing, you are um, arching to this side quite a bit here. And part of the reason is you have a wide stance here. But if you look at the backswing, so pretty much your effort in the backswing stops uh, early on here. Mm -hmm. And then from this, you just uh, let the club go and then stop about here. So your body action stopped about here and then just the arm and club up here, right? So then what, when this happens, the club slows down quite, quite a bit. So when we use the rope, then you will see that the rope goes high up and it just drops like this, instead of keep going. So we'll uh, work on that. And then this is the down the line view. Go. Particularly look at the swing plane here. Go up here, almost the no shallowing. Mm -hmm. So going up this way, and then lift the arms here, and then from there just a pull. So at the beginning of the downswing, the club head goes high up here, here, because you are pulling the handle down. And then this is the impact position. Okay. So all right, so let's start with the rope. If we develop good pattern uh, with the rope, then it will also have positive impact on uh, the club swing. Yeah. And uh, here, because the rope is flexible here, so you cannot manipulate it with this, and that the goal is to move the end of the rope the way you want. So image a plane here, you're moving the rope along the plane consistently. And then particularly in the back swing, keep more intentional effort here, all the way here. So then if you do the back swing correctly, at the end of the back swing, the rope will try to come in front of your body here. But if you slow down, it's always confusing. I will just use uh, my right-handed swing here. So if you slow down, so you have a quick initial motion and then, then slow down, then the rope comes up and then drops on your body here, and you lose the tension. But if you continue the turn here, if you continue the turn, then you see the rope goes in front of my body here. Versus, mm -hmm. just throw and then slow down by lifting the arm up, then the rope goes behind your body and the drops like this. But if you continuously turn, so your goal is to move the end of the rope around the body and then go deep as much as possible, okay? okay. So swing back and forth. Uh, also, it's important to maintain tension here. So if, for example, if you are, you are doing something like this, you see, your hands are not moving that much, but the rope is moving really fast. It's because you maintain this tension and then you are rhythmically moving your hands so the rope follows, or something like this. Again, with a little bit of body motion, rhythmic motion, you will be able to move this quite well because you have enough tension here. If you lose tension, then you lose the control. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to move the rope around your body. Your goal is to throw the end of the rope faster instead of moving the body a lot. Mm -hmm. The goal is to control the motion of the end of the rope. Your goal is to move the end of the rope fast around your body. That way you will be able to maintain the tension. Okay. So don't lose the tension. And then in the back swing, let the rope go around your body and then wrap around your body. Yeah. So that means you have to let, let it go all the way in instead of just to throw and slow down here. So back swing should be continuous instead of 
early burst of uh, effort here, and then slow down here. Instead, go all the way. Yes, now the swing is very different because you are adding that, in order to continue this motion, you have to add a shoulder turn mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah. So you will, you will have extra shoulder turn. With that, all the way down, you're using the shoulder, the body turn here, and then throw. Mm -hmm. That way, you engage the body more instead of just lift the arm and then try to pull it down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again. Keep it fast in the backswing, and then let it go around your body all the way. And maintain the tension in the rope. <laughs> yep. Yep. Then the body motion is better connected. So instead of throw and then slow down, and then try to use the arms here, turn all the way and then let it go. Let it go. You start using these muscles more. So let me record from here. So continue, continue the swing. All right. So you ready? Go. Continue swing. Put more effort in the back swing. Yep. So when you put effort in the backswing, downswing will be automatically active. In the backswing, you put more effort and make it faster, then your body turns more. You have good wind up and coiling. Then with that, you will be able to swing fast in the downswing. So you don't have to intentionally put effort in the downswing. Yeah. So if you have to put effort, then it's got to be the backswing, then automatically downswing will be active. Yeah. I'm not even thinking about Go, continue swing. Put more effort in the back swing. Yep. Yeah, now uh, the body continuously moves. So mm -hmm. instead of quick motion here and then lifting the arms up here, you have a more continuous motion. So let me record from here. Okay, ready, go. Good. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Good. But then the only way down, the swing plane is a bit too steep. Still? Yeah. So, because you are going, pulling it down quite a bit. So, watch this. So go up here. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the backswing, you tend to lose the tension a little bit. So when you start the downswing, mm -hmm. you see, up to this point, the rope is not responding that much. That means uh, you don't have enough tension here. That's fine. And then hands are coming down quite uh, steep here. So, okay, going to back swing here. So let's make a swing plane a bit flatter here. So let's see, when you swing, when you swing, try to make the plane a bit flatter, okay? And then so I'll go a bit flat here and then throw this way here, instead of lifting high up and dropping here. Hmm. Ah, one thing here. So let's use the right arm only. Right arm only. Right, yeah. And then, so in order to swing the rope, you have to throw this here. Throw. Currently, your left arm is quite dominant, so you, you tend to pull it down here. But if you use the right arm only, put your, put your right, right, uh, left arm anywhere, and then try to throw, throw, and then control the motion.
So what happens is uh, here, as you throw, you are uh, your pelvis is sliding too much, so you essentially you are lifting up here. So instead, have the feel of throwing this way. Throw this way. More. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you use the right arm relatively actively, that you can throw, you can control the direction of throw. But if you, you have too much, uh, too dominant uh, uh, left arm here, then you tend to pull it down. So just the pull and then lift up, pull and lift up. So let's use both arms. And as you swing this time, no need to swing that hard in the downswing. Just to try to feel the motion of the rope. And then what I'll do is I'll move this way here. So this is square. And then when I'm here, if you try to throw the rope to me, this is outward swing plane. When I go this side, it will be inward, right? So try to throw the rope toward me. So first here. Still is a bit outward. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit outward. So I turn this way. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, more inward here. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, so this is what I want to see, this type of motion here. So yeah. your hands, you have to bring your hands a bit more this way here, instead of sliding a lot and then try to lift up here. When you slide too much, then you lose this control, because always the curve goes this way. So less slide. In order to swing this way, you, you should have less sliding, right? and then turn this way instead of. Mm -hmm. So again, control the swing motion. And the intention is to try to uh, swing this way. I'm uh, on this side here. And then use your right arm more instead of using left arm a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. That way, when, when I'm here, inside here, you, when you try to throw the rope more inward, then actually it becomes a square. So in, in your image, you are throwing the rope this way, but actually it's going this way here. So if I'm here, you try to throw this way, then your, your rope goes more outward. Mm -hmm. So try to match the, uh, the direction here. It's, it's always important to adjust to your motion and then you should be able to throw the rope uh, to your intended direction. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so now you're turning this way more. Turning this way more, that's good. Okay. When your body turns more this way, then turn and then kick the ground, so your right leg will push and then turn more this way. I can feel this hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, tend, you, you have tendency of... Uh, Sliding quite a bit in throw, and the hands are going outward quite a bit in your original swing, and the throw this way here. But instead, swing, swing. Okay, again. So that means that if you want to adjust the, the direction this way, then in the back swing, you, you can go a bit steeper. Go steeper here and then turn this way. But if it goes a flat here, well, actually, this may be reasonable for you, but because you're sliding, then suddenly it goes outward. So you have to change all these things so that make sure you can continuously throw this way to, to the direction you intend. Okay? So if necessary, you have to adjust to the back swing. Now, now uh, so uh, there are two main purposes in this uh, rope swing. The first one is uh, you maintain um, consistent swing plane both ways. So as you go backward and then downward, you are moving the, the rope along the same plane. This is one thing. The second one is at the end of the back swing, you, have, you must have enough time here. Let the rope go around your body. 
hits the body, then throw instead of, as the rope is going this way, you already turn this way. Mm -hmm. Then you lose the transition time. If you rush in the transition, then you tend to use your arms quite a bit. And then with that, you have to uh, slide the parachute quite a bit. But if you have a good wind up, wait until the rope hits the body, and then throw, then you will be able to use the lead leg better at the right time here. Mm -hmm. So make sure you wait until the rope hits the body, and then start the dancing. So in your backswing, in your backswing, your focus is giving good wind up, no more than that. Don't worry about quickly coming down here. Yeah. Downswing is downswing. But in your backswing, the, the goal is to turn this way as much as possible so that you put the rope in as much as possible. Yes. So when you have more time there, with that time, your body will be able to shift this way early. Mm -hmm. But if you don't allow, it's just to go up and quickly pull it down, you don't have time for that. Mm -hmm. So while you have having a bit more time here, you will be able to slightly shift back and then let it go. Yeah. So no rush down, okay? Yeah, now, now with the adjusted uh, swing direction, and then having more time now using your right leg at the right time here. Right. In your original swing, because this is a slide here, although you are pushing the ground hard, but uh, this really does not help the upper body turn. Mm -hmm. So these are a bit dissociated. But now, with, the, with this motion, turning this way here, when you kick the ground and then throw, the leg action can really help the upper body turn. Mm -hmm. So again. Mm. So in the back swing, your goal is to have a good wind up and then create coiling. That's all you need. And then let it go. Swing, swing. Swing, okay, swing, 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 okay. So in the, in the back swing, increase the speed so that it, it hits your body a bit harder. Yeah. Ah, the first one was okay, but the second one, Starting the second one is not fast enough. Yeah. So when you continuously swinging, particularly end of the back swing, let the rope hit your body, hit, hit your chest. That means that the end of the rope should be alive, okay? and then go around your body. So you have each part of, uh, you know, in your chest here, and using the end of the rope, you are hitting that part here. Yep. Yes, now it's hitting, hitting the body. So when that happens, you have a really active back swing here. Mm -hmm. And when you have active back swing, down swing automatically becomes active. So you don't have to intentionally put a lot of effort there. Mm -hmm. So let me record this. So again, let the rope hit the, your chest, okay? Or uh, it's actually a bit short for your body. So it will hit the side here, but let it hit the body. Okay, ready, go. Hmm. Oh, now, now you're using your body a lot better. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in order to allow the rope to hit your body, you have to have a more shoulder turn, particularly toward the end of the back swing. So with that, you have more wind up, coiling here. 
And then when you are in that position, you can easily use these muscles here to start the downswing. So body starts the downswing and then throw the arms. Go. So this is the previous one here. So you see, at the end of the backswing, and you have a bit, uh, at the end of the downswing, you have too much time, so it's not continued, uh, con uh, connected that well. So again, let me play this again. This is the previous one. So the motion is not well connected here. But now, with the more active backswing, oh, yeah. you see, more active backswing is <laughs> better connected. Oh, yeah. So you are creating this active backswing by using this uh, downswing position here. From here, make the big back swing here. And then you now let it go in the turn around mm -hmm. instead of uh, the sliding and then try to throw out this mm -hmm. way. So it's important, okay? Um, so what the, the purpose of the rope swing is, make the end of the rope fast enough mm -hmm. and then let it go around the body. So the, when you use the rope, because you cannot manipulate the rope, you have to move the body properly. But the problem is when you start swinging the club, then you will, you will start manipulating it mm -hmm. with your hands. So you have to maintain this motion pattern and then use the, uh, apply it to a club swing. Let me record the once, one more uh, time uh, from this direction. So connect everything and particularly make the back swing more active and then let the rope hit your body. Okay, ready, go. <laughs> Look at this. Naturally, you are using your body a lot more now. So in the frontal view, this motion is now all continuous. Ready, go. And also, we see that your body is now turning in the downswing, right? This earlier swing. Go, continue swing. Put more effort in the back swing. Yep. Yeah. You see, the pelvis tends to slide quite a bit here. Yeah. Yeah. The pelvis slides first, and then the arms follow. But because now you have the intention to turn around here, so this is better timed. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's a better timed. And then you are really letting go in the turn around here. Again, this is the, the, the very last one here. This is earlier one. You see, you're not waiting here. You don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. and while the rope is still going this way, you already start turning here. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that causes uh, off timing. Yeah, this is fairly arm driven swing. Now, let's go to the orange whip here. Uh, this is somewhat flexible. It's a somewhat flexible, but it's a lot heavier, heavier than your club. Mm -hmm. So uh, no need to swing that hard, okay. but try to again, you know, replicate the body motion and as if uh, you're, hold, you're swinging a rope. rope. Yeah. So you don't fight. And as you, as particularly in the back swing, as you swing, have the image of uh, the rope going around your body and hitting your body. So work with, work with the orange whip instead of fighting. Okay? Okay. Hmm. You keep good wind up in the back swing. Oh, still uh, you're going too, too quick. Yes, that's better. And then still you're throwing out, throwing out. This way. Mm -hmm. So in order to uh, adjust this, what should happen is uh, when you start the downswing, the hands can go a bit more outward here and then turn this way instead of come down here and then going out here. Mm -hmm. So you can just change the way the hands move.
throw. Use the body and then throw the club. Throw. Throw. Yeah. So instead of fighting, you wait until this goes here. At the particular end of the backswing, try to minimize the bending. Okay. So what happens is uh, during the backswing, as the, the end of the whip goes this way, if you already try to turn this way, then you push the handle this way, the head is going that way, then you'll create a lot of bending. But instead, go all the way here and then try to minimize the bending. That means you have to wait until this motion is completed and then go down. So that way, naturally, you'll, have, you'll be able to have a bit more time. So have the image of minimizing the, the bending. So no fight, but let it go all the way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Yep. So uh, again, because this is heavier, you really have to work with this. Mm -hmm. If you try to fight, then you're wasting a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. okay. This is heavy, so we don't <laughs> want to <laughs> swing this too much. <laughs>